Peggy 18. What's going on guys? I'm Zach Cooper, your Splinter Cell Community Developer, and this is the first of what will hopefully be many ComDev Q&As. We're going to start off with a question that many of you have asked and some of you know the answer to already, and that's the idea that non-lethal combat is indeed back in Splinter Cell Blacklist. You've seen the Karambit in action before in our trailers. What you have not seen are the non-lethal elements. And it works like this. It's a basic toggle. So if you're approaching a guy and you're looking to take him out in close quarters combat, if you've got the knife equipped, needless to say that bad guy is going to meet his maker. If you do not have the knife equipped, you're going to experience one of the many incapacitating moves. We're talking about chokes, chops, bends, twists, breaks, you get the idea. Devastating stuff and it's very cool. We'll be able to show that off a little bit later on. What I barely got clearance to communicate to you about was the economy system and how it all fits in together. Um, the key takeaway is the idea of remaining undetected. So if you can do that, if you approach a guy, no one has seen you, you take him out, whether it be through a kill or a KO, you will be rewarded handsomely. We can't really talk about the extent to which that plays necessarily to the stealth element. Just know that it's one of the many ways that we are indeed emphasizing the importance of stealth. We'll be talking about the other two play styles and how they fit into the economy system a little bit later on. Now, another comment that I've seen popping up is the idea of darkness and how much you as Sam Fisher will be running around in the dark. Now, the, the, the short answer, I guess, is, is plenty. Um, what I want you to know is that we've got maps in the night, in the morning, uh, broad daylight, in rainstorms, indoors, outdoors. Again, the, the takeaway here is variety. And I, I like to think of it as, you know, terrorist activity or anti-terrorist activity, as it were, uh, doesn't exclusively get conducted between the hours of 8 p.m. and 8 a.m., right? So just know that there will be plenty of shadows for you to hide in. Um, we're out of time for now, but as always, we are open to your thoughts, suggestions, comments, feedback on all of our social channels. Find us on Facebook, www.facebook.com slash Splinter Cell. We are at Splinter Cell on Twitter, and you can find us as well on the Ubisoft forums where most of the conversations are happening, and that is forums.ubi.com. Till then. Nice.